Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm here in the parking lot of the mall. I'm getting ready to go into Coach because they are having an artist event today. Now, I've been following the artist on Instagram. His work is amazing. The thing is, is I don't have a preconceived idea of a design like I did last time. And if you haven't seen that vlog, I will link it below. I love that bag. I love it so much. So I hope that when I show him the bag that I buy today and show him some of my favorite things on his Instagram account, then together we can come up with an idea. But before I go in, I thought I would show you my bag of the day. I decided to bring this bag with me today. This is my vintage City Willis bag. I've got it paired with this strap from the Coach Outlet. It was from their Shine collection and you can see it has like these rivets all over it. Yeah, and this just kind of fit my mood and I think kind of fits the mood of the bag that I'm planning to buy today. So I'm just kind of going with that overall vibe. Well, I'm excited to take you along and show you the process. So here we go. Well guys, that took a turn in the best way possible. Not only did I get the bag that I had planned on, but <laughs> but there was another bag there that was pre-painted for the event. I couldn't leave without it. So I got two bags. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've just returned from the coach store. I so enjoyed meeting the artist, Cameron. Okay, and as you can see, I've got two boxes here because uh, there are two bags and I didn't expect that. So I went in planning to buy a particular bag and that's what we got started with the painting event that was happening there in person. So while I was waiting for the painting to happen, and I'll show you some footage of that later in the video, I was uh, looking around and they had a really lovely uh, display in the window of some of his work. And I thought those bags were basically just like samples, samples of his work to show customers, you know, here's some ideas, here are some examples of Cameron's work. I didn't know that they could be purchased. But one of those bags really caught my heart and I couldn't leave without it. So let's start with that one and then I'll show you the bag that I had painted in the store. <laughs> I, you know, yes, I know, I know, I don't know. I don't know what to say, except it wasn't planned, it was impulsive, but it's, it's really something. Okay, here we go. It's a Sammy bag. But not just any Sammy bag. It has this really intricate, detailed art, almost like jewelry uh, on the top of the bag, all down here on the side of the bag and also around the back of the bag. It definitely does have a fall motif, but I think it just adds to the charm of this. And speaking of charms, look, at the charms that are hanging down. The black cat, I just found that to be adorable. So here's a sea coach charm. And as you can see, this spider coming down, some ghosts here in this chain, a spider web, a gold pumpkin. And the detail in this is so amazing that, like I said, I couldn't leave it. I just couldn't. And on the hang tag in gold, he like does his uh, signature here. Look here in this heart, it says boo. And then on the back on this heart, it says my boo. Oh, it's just, oh, and I didn't see this before. There's a butterfly here. And uh, I'll link uh, Cameron's Instagram below. And when you look through his art, butterflies are one of the main themes. I love that. I love that so much. So, got a Sammy. <laughs> this is not an everyday bag, an every season bag, but I don't care. I don't care. Now let me show you the bag that was painted during the event. So I knew in my mind I wanted the box tabby. I've liked the box tabby ever since it came out. And in all the colors, I knew for sure I wanted black. I liked the width of the strap. I liked everything about it. I liked how structured, structured it was. When they were having this next artist event, I knew the black box tabby would be the one that I wanted painted. So I had looked up Cameron's uh, Instagram and looked at some of his artwork to try to get some ideas. And as I was driving to the store, I looked at my shirt. You know, I'm really thinking something dark, some dark colors. Maybe my shirt could give some inspiration for that. So I showed him my favorite photos from his Instagram. I talked about my shirt. <laughs> and so this is what we came up with and I'll show you the footage.
you know, how would I want it to be worn or, you know, what detail did I, what I want, you know, to be highlighted. That helps me out a lot in the long run. I just seen this online before I came here. Oh yeah. And I'm like, this is a great bag. Do you do coach events up in uh, Pittsburgh? Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is technically my fourth um, artist event. I did two. I did two this year back at home in Pittsburgh, and um, we did like a dual day. It was like a Saturday and Sunday, so that was pretty fruitful. Had a lot of fun. Sold a nice amount of bags. So um, it's just something that I'm working on with Coach, just trying to get my regional sales up to, you know, hopefully do something bigger and grander of a scale with Coach. If I love the brand, I would love to do something, uh, you know, extensive with them. So just building my, my repertoire, my resume with Coach itself to, you know, get there. I was 18 years old. I played for Mercyhurst University and I got hurt. I suffered a severe concussion and just never played again. I did art therapy and I kind of already, you know, dabbled in painting my shoes and things like that in high school. But I don't know, I just took it serious after college and kind of was all she wrote after that. And I just started doing deals with like BMW, Starbucks, um, started going to Art Basel, just all different types of things. That, um, you know, really opened doors for me to like, you know, pursue this professionally. So I've been a professional artist for about six years now. Very cool. Yeah. Um, I was inducted into the Smithsonian. What was that 2020? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 2020. Deal. Yeah, it was. I mean, I it took me a while to even understand what that meant. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, no, you know, we're we're working on a different like. Not rebranding, but I guess just giving artists their flowers while they're alive. And Living like, artists, yeah. yeah. You know? So um, I was part of the Black Coalition movement. I did a project called Black Flowers. That is 12 underrepresented Black faces, faces of Pittsburgh. My essay was so helpful. They didn't have any left in stock at our store, so she had it brought in from another store for the event. And here it is. <laughs> it's exactly what I had described, like just of the things that I was kind of inspired with, and then he just took it from there. He used the front and the top and the back of the bag to work with these dark colors of, you know, the, black. the bag is black, but I wanted to get some grays and silvers on the bag as well and kind of give some abstract and some leopard and leopard heart. And if you've watched my channel before, you know that I love leopards and hearts together and some kind of a wet paint effect on that leopard heart. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. And here he put his signature on the hang tag as well. If you haven't seen the box tab before here, let me just show you real quick. It comes with this really, really nice wide strap. It has a gusset here on the side and it opens up like that. So yeah, it's a small bag, but you do have a little play with it like that. There's a slip pocket on the inside of the bag here on the back wall. And it closes with a magnetic closure. Black gunmetal hardware. So I think it just has a really cool, edgy kind of look. And when I see that the hang tag has been attached here, of course, I'm gonna move it up and attach it to the D-ring on the hardware. And I wanted to say that Cameron had a heat gun. So he was able to dry this bag immediately and I could bring it home with me today. And so that was also really super exciting. Well, thanks for joining me as I show you these bags from the artist event at my coach store. I had so much fun. I really enjoyed meeting Cameron. He's a very talented artist. I hope I get to meet him again in the future. Well, you take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, bye.